Welcome to The Joy of Music. Featuring as hostess, Diane Bigg, the first lady of the organ. Praise ye the Lord. Praise Him in His sanctuary. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Diane Bish. On the Joy of Music today, we present the Joy of Bach played in a contemporary setting on a great modern-day organ. The music of Johann Sebastian Bach is as contemporary and relevant as the day it was written almost 300 years ago. Bach brought to music a technical skill and a vivid imagination yet to be equaled in the musical world. And along with that skill and imagination, he brought a spiritual conviction and a personal faith in a living God. Bach himself said that unless music is performed and composed to the glory of God, it is nothing but an infernal bawling and scraping. Bach was a virtuoso organist, and everywhere he went, people wanted to hear him play and improvise. Today we begin the program by playing one of his greatest compositions for the organ, the Prelude and Fugue in D Major. This is a virtuoso piece of music. It begins with a pedal scale, and all the way through, the hands and the feet have a chase between each other. The hands play a melody, then the feet play it, then the hands, then the feet. And the fugue ends in a pedal cadenza. The result is one of Bach's most stirring compositions.
To Johann Sebastian Bach, there was no difference between secular and sacred music. For as Bach said, all tones ascend to heaven in praise to God, too deep for utterance. We hear now four movements of the Bach Orchestra Suite Number 3. Although this was written for chamber orchestra, I have arranged it for the organ. The orchestra suites were built on popular dance tunes of the day from Spain, Germany, England, and France. I have chosen four of these movements, three of which are very fast moving, and the fourth is the very famous air played on the beautiful string and flute stops of the organ.
As cantor of the St. Thomas Church in Leipzig, Bach was called upon to write a cantata for every Sunday of the year. Over a number of years, Bach wrote almost 300 cantatas, and this was a remarkable feat because he not only had to write the music, he had to research the text, have the parts copied by his wife and children, and he had to rehearse the music. I would like to play for you now a symphonia or overture from Cantata 29. We thank thee, God, we thank thee. In this piece, Bach calls upon the virtuosity and all of the technical skill the organist can produce. Today on The Joy of Music, we have brought you The Joy of Bach. 
There is a special joy in performing this music, for Bach is the prime example of expressing personal faith through music. Bach was an evangelical Christian. Jesus to him was Lord and Savior, and this was not only acknowledged intellectually, but also felt emotionally. Sin and forgiveness were emphasized. The devil was real. Bach's religious universe was three-tiered, hell, earth, and heaven. To Bach, death was always close. It was faced forthrightly and even longed for. And finally, Bach was a solid and orthodox Lutheran. It is clear in his choral emphasis that he understood and followed the confessional of the Lutheran formulas involving sin and grace, redemption, and justification by faith. Such spiritual conviction, technical skill, and vivid imagination is the true joy of Bach. Thank you so much for joining me and sharing with me the joy of Bach. And we look forward to seeing you on the joy of music next week.